uh, that's a good friend of mine. He's like that. And I can tell that he just genuinely is rooting for my success in terms of our friendship. It's a very... Five types of friends. Very first one is your covenant friend. This is the guy who is your ride or die, and they are always there for you. Your spiritual friend. Your ride or die friend. We've all these are the five types of friends that you should have. Um, these are these are some these are some good ones, and it makes me kind of take stock of people in my life. And um, that first one, the the ride or die. You know. Um, we all need that person, that person that's going to be there with you and for you no matter what. This is the person that will pray for you. This is the person that you go for advice. You, we, we do need that friend in our life that we go for advice. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mentor, although that's probably one I would add to the list. But, you know, that person that we do ask advice of. Um, and, you know, be careful of the advice that you do ask them. But, uh, you know. It's important to have that spiritual advice when you're down. This one's really hard to come by. It's called a confidant. Who do you go to when you have life decisions? The one you can share wins with. Because sometimes we can't share wins because people are jealous. This person right here, your confidant, come to him and say, hey, bro, check it out. Just made a million bucks. And they go, good for you, bro. Good for you. What's next? That is a definitely a good friend archetype to look for. The one that really roots for you. Um, I've got a person in my life uh, that's a good friend of mine. He's like that. And I can tell that he just genuinely is rooting for my success in terms of our friendship. It's a very growth oriented one. And it's not one that, you know, he feels that uh, my wins mean his, his loss. And, you know, that that's also something you could expand on into society in general in that I, I feel like there's a lot of groups that do that where, you know, we don't, like my groups or my type of person, whatever, my success doesn't mean that the other ones have to be torn down in order for mine to be successful. We can all be successful. We're friends. We should both root for each other. Next, your hospitable friend. This person cares for your well-being. This person right here is always like, hey, man, how are you doing? No, 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 no I don't care about how you're doing at work. How's your heart? Do you have that friend? If you don't have that friend, you need to seek out that friend because that friend brings life. And then lastly, we all need a hit man. You know what a hitman friend does. <laughs> hey, bro, check it out. Some stuff went down. They don't ask questions. They go get a bat and they roll out. You need that friend too. You got me? That's a funny one. I remember that movie uh, with, um, oh, man. Uh, it's about these guys in uh, Boston. It's got, um, you know, Hawkeye and uh, Ben Affleck. And I forget, the, Jeremy Renner and, and Ben Affleck. And they play these, you know, a hoods basically from from Boston, and he comes in. He comes in. He's like, "Hey, don't need you to ask questions. I just need you to, you know, get ready. Come with me. We're gonna hurt some people, and uh, that's all I got to say about it." He's like, "All right, who, which car are we driving?" Um, that's a, you know, we need that friend for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, you have that one. Um, but the other one, the 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 sort of like, you know, heart check that person that's making sure you're okay. Um, that that person cares about you and. You know, there was a there was another video I saw. Of Theo Vaughn is a comedian. Theo Vaughn, and he was saying that he, when he was growing up, he was very depressed because he was he was lonely. In that, he explained loneliness as um, not that you don't have anyone, but that there's no one who has you, right? And I think that a lot of loneliness can be overcome in our lives if we know that there are people, a person or people that have our well, well-being in their heart and, the, and on their mind. And that is sort of an antidote to loneliness, I think, and something we could look for. Really cool ones here. I like this. Um, I, would, I would like to take a class with that guy. That'd be cool.